Let's talk now about the Advanced feature from the Custom Brush options. So I will focus first on the Stamp Mode, just here. So the Stamp Mode defines the way the stems or the brush you have cut will appear on the screen. By default you are on Origin Stamp, it means it keeps the original aspect of the brush, the original colors and everything. So if, for example, I would like now to draw in green or any other color, I can't because I'm using the origin stamp. If I want to change the color, I may use the alpha stamp. And then I will keep the alpha level from my brush and it will combine it with the A color. I can also use the alpha max stamp that works more or less the same, except it also keeps the different um, alpha values a little bit like the alpha diff mode. We also have the luma stamp, so it affects the luma values and mix A color and B color. For example, if I take another color, like red, and here take yellow. We also have the Luma Invert stamp that give another result. We also have the Hue stamp and the Smear stamp. The Smear stamp works more or less like uh, the Alpha stamp. That in plus, it will allow you to smear the colors quite easily, like this. So when you're using the smear mode, the smear option here appears immediately. So just to give you an explanation, okay, I'll take some blue and if I use a very high smear value, I will smear quite immediately. And if I have a very low value, it will need more time to smear the colors. Then last but not least, we have the smear source. To smear a source, let's open a file. Okay, so smear source will allow me to paint on a source, so it can be the image on the display or it can be another image. To define this source, actually, you will have to go on Shape Settings and define the source. It can be current image or the display or a paper or a previous image or next image, as you like. Here I will just use current, it means what I have on the current image. So I will use a very high level of smear. I will lower a little bit my brush size and I will paint on the dog. That's how you can do, for example, rotoscopy on a video sequence. In a previous tutorial, I show you how to um, how to change, especially the size, or how to use X and Y to flip the different X's, or even C to rotate. But you can go further by clicking on Edit button just here. With the Edit button, you have more choice available. So we have the possibility to buy two. Uh, the size or divide by two the, the size of the brush. We can also make it wider or thinner or longer. We can also change the angle, flip.
eventually we can optimize, but here it's already optimized, and you can force to display the alpha channel like this. We also have the possibility to change manually the different width and height values. You can eventually lock the aspect to move both, but then you can just use the Z shortcut. And you can also click on the E to move manually without locking the aspect. You can move manually the aspect of the brush. Of course, don't worry if it disappears because you have to apply the change to see then the change you brought. You may also, yes, change the angles. Uh, yeah, this is really easy to do with C already. And you can also add a border. So for example, if you want to add a border, let's increase this value. And here we have a border around our brush or yellow or any other color of your choice. And you can also change again the anti-aliasing. And then we can play on the opacity mapping. The opacity mapping will redefine the opacity level, the alpha level, from your brush. Let's change it. So for example, if I do this kind of change, you can see in real time how the brush is affected by the opacity level. Let's apply the change. And here is the result. So for example, if your brush uh, is not transparent enough, you can play with the opacity mapping to redo the opacity of your brush. And another mode, but this one will make sense on very peculiar brushes. So we'll uh, draw some transparent brush with the airbrush. Then I cut it and I will use the web profile. The web profile will make sense only if you are in alpha stamp or alpha max stamp. And the web profile allows you to redefine um, the opacity level, but in a different way uh, than the opacity mapping. So here nothing changes because I haven't chosen the alpha stamp. And here, yeah. A different result. The web profile can be really useful to paint uh, water or to create, for example, a sand brush. I'll show you an example in a further tutorial.